my throat in an unpleasant way what oh that sound yeah yeah, yeah. went to the wrong S- sounds solvable <laughs> thank you <laughs> i like shut the mic up <laughs> and i'm just like no way <laughs> let's begin with oh a God. fuck you how about that, <laughs> yeah, how about that? How about fucking that? <laughs> oh i didn't know we were starting with idiocy uh, right I mean, top. <laughs> uh, <laughs> That was ungenerous. I apologize. Uh, no, it was great. Yeah. Uh, what a, what a beginning. Deep core. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what a beginning. Uh, uh, welcome to I'll Show You Mine If You Show Me Yours. Hey. Hey, well, here's us. Welcome. Doing it again. You're sitting here with us. Yeah. <laughs> proverbably. That's the idea. <laughs> shut up. <Yeah. laughs> you shut up. <laughs> that is the message of this podcast. Uh, yeah. If it's anything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's got to be that. Well, especially them shut up because we're the ones talking. So yeah. like literally they're not. That's just not entertaining. I mean, if they talk, it's just not entertaining. Right. And wh- talk or not, we won't hear it. <laughs> like, regardless. <laughs> this is my um, the time my mouth moves. <laughs> this is me mouth time. <laughs> me mouth time. <laughs> anyway, what a welcoming invitation to yeah. our beloved audience Pull into this wonderful podcast. We do. I don't know when do we do it. Every once in a while, uh, when uh, when Abe pokes us. <laughs> oh, 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 oh yeah, we got a there he is. Oh, yeah 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 with a sharp stick right That's, off uh, mic. Yeah. Well, the thing is, we're always hanging out, so it's like, when are we hanging out for this podcast versus right. when are we just pal hanging? You know. So not to promote anything off network right up top. I mean, but we are doing a little podcast called Lynchpins. We are. I was thrilled mm-hmm. by so so one of the things that you guys are doing and i say mm-hmm. you guys that means will and mm-hmm. maggie who are doing most of the releasing part of it yeah and mostly will i'll give mostly will yeah yeah yeah, 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 yeah. Will's, will's doing great uh-huh. um he's releasing they are releasing mm-hmm. uh little shorts yeah. that are just little, outtakes from things that we were talking little about snippets uh little goofs yeah <laughs> on one of the goofs <laughs> on a on a goof uh-huh there was a <laughs> there was a dude who was like i feel like that guy really loves and respects all of her essay work that's why he cares so much about her like and it was this it was this like i think you love it respect yeah, her yeah, yeah, work, buddy. yeah. so you, you can you can use i word like right. use i right he's like that avatar sentences. is me i'm him uh-huh. uh, he feels how i feel I, I would laugh if i was in that chair to that joke <laughs> Good. <laughs> what a thrilling remark it was. It is cute. It's nice that people can see themselves in you. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That is nice because that boy, nice. you don't get it all the time. No, let, me, no. let me tell you. Let me tell no. you something. Every time I bump into a small woman at work, it's like ogre. <laughs> you know, like <laughs> oh my god, <laughs> <laughs> ogre. <laughs> I've seen it many, many a time. You've seen it. Yeah, I've I, seen it. I know. I, yeah, I know. You. I, yeah. It's been a bit I've been doing that. Soren loved in particular oh, for really? years. Uh-huh. Soren. Soren, so you know, yeah. podcast friend yeah. Soren uh-huh. Bowie uh-huh. Uh, mm-hmm. loves stuff that's like uh, <laughs> like bad manners yeah. or like awkward social Absolutely. situations. Yeah. Loves them, loves instigating them, loves witnessing Lo- loves them, loves seeing them. Uh-huh. Yeah, he just loves being around them. Mm-hmm. Doesn't want to be part of them. Just no, no, loves no. to see them. Wants to be near it. Yeah. yeah. So he has been thrilled for years <laughs> that every time he's watched me take a corner, like <laughs> her, just he's he loves it. It's his favorite thing. So That's it's a funny. bit that I've kept alive. Yeah. In, you know, for in his memory. <laughs> <laughs> Naturally. Yeah. Those are the territory. Li- literally and physically. Yes. You know. Yes. Although there is a little less of me now than there's been if I'm oh, allowed sure. to do some bragging. Absolutely. You know, just, yes. a, just a wee bit of bragging. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, been, you know, been I think you, you still have the gravitas. Like, I think that's part of it when people <laughs> you, still have, <laughs> you still have the emotions <laughs> of an excessively heavy man. Emotionally, look exactly the same. <laughs> that leads me back to my favorite comment you've ever made, which was I don't know uh-huh. three months ago uh-huh. when you were like, "No, take, don't take this personally, but nobody who looks like you hasn't seen Star Trek." <laughs> And it's really sad in my soul. Oh my it's God. really, he really <laughs> sat on my heart for that. Uh, yeah. What a, what yeah. a moment that was. You know what? I actually went to, um, what are those like for your consideration nights of the Star Trek discovery finale and saw me there. <laughs> uh, I, I I'm not, no. not, not, not. And, uh, maybe at least two people from, from the cast. Look, like oh, yeah, sure, a gander sure, type. Sure, 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 sure. sure, sure. You know. Glasses and beard is sort yeah. of it's yeah. The the non sexy Hollywood look. Right. Well, you know. 
I mean, kind of. I won't say it's not. Uh, I would say it's just like a look. I would say it's a creative look. Like a lot of yeah, creatives have the 100%. beard glasses. Like, yeah, it looks creative to people who aren't around it. And then yes. you see us all together. You're like, oh, yeah. you're all oh, the no, exact yeah. same. You just need glasses. And Every one of you is exactly like this. <laughs> yeah. Look at you. Yeah. You They were like bangs. You know, I got bangs. Oh. People. If I had bangs. Assume things about Imagine bangs. if I had bangs. You could have them. I don't think I you could. You can clip them in. They got clip on bangs oh, okay. now. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I could so wear I literally just have them. Like a little visor. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Just like, <laughs> like a little head visor. Yeah, and then yeah. you can cook, pop it them off. Good idea. Anyway, someone on YouTube right now is freaking out because uh, uh-huh. they're like, can we, what are we talking about Move today? on. And I have wonderful news. We're talking about what's been happening with us first. Yes. Maggie, and what's yes. been happening with you? Uh, it's been like a pretty, it's been both chill and a lot of like, wait, hurry up and wait, you know, whatever with like projects. So, I mean, that's, you know, speaking of anxiety earlier yeah, yeah. off, we have off been speaking mic. about anxiety. Yeah. yeah. Um, I don't experience anxiety much. That's not really my usual, what do you call it? Milieu. I kind of thought you were the person who like doesn't want to deal with it. Like, so you yes, kind of push it aside. Yeah, yes, yeah, yes, yeah. yes. So like my response to a potential in- anxious moment is to avoid uh, or deflect, you know, anything, then deal with it. Yeah. Um, and that yeah. most works for you. No, I okay. would say it's healthy. Yeah, no, no, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, yeah. I should be dealing yeah. with it. Yeah. <laughs> um, the, uh, the older I get, the more. I am able to deal with it and yeah, the more sure. that it doesn't, you know. And the more you need to. I yeah, mean, the more yeah. you need to. Absolutely. Yeah. Um, yeah, I was much more flighty in my younger oh, years. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so it's just like a lot of yeah, things beyond circumstance. So I can't make things go faster. So I can only control these tiny little amount. And so And so I, you are controlling the shit out of that little amount <laughs> i mean i'm trying i'm trying to i'm trying to I, i'm doing your method of writing a certain number of pages every day How's that going? good yeah i mean I, it's fun to be like each day it doesn't overwhelm me with how much i expect of myself because a lot of times i'll be like okay you know what like let's try to pump out like this entire you know whatever but it's like okay if i if it's every single day i do a tiny chunk then, you know, right now I'm up uh, 30 pages on my next screenplay and to duh Fantastic. You know? Fantastic. Yeah. My The only problem I've had with that method is yeah. I feel like I often write stuff that's uh, not... Not as smooth. Yeah. Yeah. It's just, and, and like I don't get... I don't get the kind of creative zone where I can change the story to be what it wants oh, to be as sure. easily. Uh-huh. You know? That's interesting. Yeah. This is actually the first time... Uh, so now not to, not to brag, but, uh, you know, now I have a literary manager, so I do, you know, ha- not to like have someone to answer with, but I did, this is the first time I've done like drafts of an outline before writing. Oh yeah. Yeah. So it's that was probably great. Yeah. And I'd yeah. never done it before. And yeah. I, I understand the appeal of both. Like I would say writing with that, I mean, I've always had an outline, but not one that has had notes and rewritten and worked on that much. Not this much. Notes by any is means. tough on an outline, but I hear yeah, you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it did, like, now it is very, like, oh, I, I very much know what scene is next because I've done a couple drafts of it in my head already. Um, so there's, I mean, you know, you're doing it somewhere. Yeah. You're doing yeah, the yeah. idea somewhere. Having an right. outline is important if you want to get a draft done. Yes. Yes. Like there's been many mm-hmm. movies I started that I didn't get yeah. a draft done without an outline. I do feel like like pulling me by the navel through it because it's like, it's great. well, it literally is the next thing that needs to happen because I I have, wrote that. Yeah. You know, and it, I know the yeah. plan, so I don't have to worry about right. it. Right. In the in the practice of it, again, because I'd never done it this way before, it was like I don't want to write the third draft of this outline. Yeah. But you know, can't argue with the results in that. Like, well, you know. I've already had the go ahead that this is this is all great. So there's no there's nothing really to think about other than the fun things the in scene. the script. Yeah, yeah, the scene, what people are saying. Yeah, I don't yeah. like writing outlines. Yeah, but you have to. Yeah, like I, I find yeah. it takes me forever to write an outline, even mm-hmm. though really you can write a sequence in a story in the same amount of time it takes to write two pages. Yeah, pretty quickly. Yeah, and then yeah. you know. You're, once you have one draft of the outline, the whole process is easier. Mm-hmm. Everything about it is easier. But yep. that first draft, man, is just, just grueling. Yeah. Absolutely grueling. Yeah. 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 So you've been, you've been outlining. What else have you been up to? 
Um, that's, that's pretty much it. That's yeah. it? I mean, well. Outlining in a white void. <laughs> outlining in a white void. Well, writing. I'm de- yeah. Yeah. I just. It's pretty much it. I mean, we are leaving for Denver for a wedding in a few days. So that'll yes. be fun. You're playing an interesting role in that wedding, as I had understood. Oh, not not this wedding. Oh, different That's wedding. That's a year Forget from now. Oh, a year from now. Role. Yes, okay. I have a full year to... Got to, it. To, 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 Wonderful. To fuck it up. No, I oh, I bet you do. <laughs> <laughs> Woohoo. I know exactly what you mean. Yep. Uh, yeah. yeah. Okay. But yeah, this one, I have no, no responsibility other than clapping and cheering loudly and crying. As but you are a chief administrator of oh, that yeah, role. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Tears always right. Yeah, right. There. Oh yeah, you'll squeeze them out like it's no, like it's yeah. like you're a full squeeze. Yeah. It. it'll be too much. Yeah, <laughs> it'll be like. But I assume that's why, why I'm invited. Why is it a thick stream? <laughs> yeah. Ew, it's gelatinous. <laughs> why does it have foam anyway? Yeah. <laughs> All right. Doing good. Adam, my tears been? are also foamy. Thank you yeah. for asking. Yeah. yeah, from the sea, sea itself. Oh, yes, yeah. so from whence I sprang. Sea. Yeah. yeah, from whence I sprang. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, I've been doing fine, man. Yeah. Been living. Yeah, you know, trying my best. Yeah, doing what I can do. Yeah, finished a draft. Yeah. yeah, finished a draft <laughs> of uh, uh, the the screenplay you read. Oh, great! A while ago, the, All right. uh, I fixed the ending, but I haven't fixed the movie yet. Okay. So it needs one more. Cool. One more fix something. Thing. Yeah. Yeah. Do you have a sense of what it is or do you need to, or it will reveal itself? I have some ideas about what to do mm-hmm. that I think will be clearer. I think, mm-hmm. I don't think I'm going to get the done movie before yeah. new feedback. Yeah. But I think it'll be a clearer version of it. Finally, mm-hmm. this mm-hmm. is what it is. To get more clear feedback. To get like, yeah, yeah where, it, what is it? How much does this uh-huh. intrigue? Are we at something now? Right. You know. Um, yeah, so that's nice. That's fine. Yeah, uh, I still have the other movie that I talked to a friend at Shutter about that I need mm-hmm. to get on with, but I'm mm-hmm. gonna wait for a bit. Yeah, there's um, no rush. That's what I'm yeah. like. To hurry up and wait. The industry is you know real. Nobody's making shit. No one's right making now. shit. No one's giving money to shit. Everything is being passed on, mm-hmm. even really good stuff. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So you got why time. is that happening? Do you think? Uh, because of the strike. They're all trying to make their numbers look good again after losing so much money and it falls to of course once again the artists and creatives to, to put the bill. gotta pay for it somewhere yeah yeah so yeah. they're gonna make us pay for our it's our ruthless. rights it's so ruthless <laughs> i know i was trying to like explain to my parents the other day uh-huh. about why about like how people are shelving movies oh sure yeah it blew their mind yeah they were like we're shelving movies and it's like yeah yeah that's where we are now. Yep. We're literally yep. just to make money, not yep. making movies now. Right. Yeah. But like, even if they have been made, we will not release them. Yeah, exactly. We'll never see it. Yeah. We're exactly. destroying it actually. That's like everything movies aren't. Yeah. That's I know. the opposite of movies. I know. Yeah. So the juxtaposition of this industry. What a is, what a grief yeah. for us all. Yeah. Anyway, but on hey. that somber note, we should mm-hmm. thank our producers. We should. Right. Which by the way, we got a fresh batch of producers oh in. Oh my goodness. Just now. I'm Look gonna forward it to that. you as so. though we were always this professional. Wow. We're always so prepared. So prepared. Nobody ever forgets to do this till seconds before <laughs> we record. Uh-huh. No. Okay. First of all, these are our uh, show me tier producers. They mm-hmm. they contributed ten dollars a month mm-hmm. to our Patreon to hear this nonsense. Yeah, you know, so so good job. Yeah, great job. Great job. Or questionable taste. Up um, to you. <laughs> yeah, up to you. Not uh, mutually exclusive. No, no, not at all. Mm-hmm. Um, but we'd like to thank them because, in addition to this ritual of thanking them, they also are able to contribute new, fresh ideas to us about what they'd like to hear us do. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Uh, they're able to vote for the topics when we send out the list, mm-hmm. and they're thought of warmly by us mm-hmm. every now and again. Yeah, I think of them warmly all the time. Yeah, wouldn't you? Yeah. Especially when I'm sitting here and reading their names. That's the most warm. Yeah. That's a raging fire. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like a hearth. Every in once a while, like a little butterfly. Like, ooh. Yeah, ooh. 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 There's Matthew Young. Yeah. Thanks to Matthew Young. Thanks, Matthew. Ooh. <laughs> Thanks to Dr. Mr. Spock. That's nice. You need both monikers to. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Dr. They, and Mr. That helps him everywhere. Yeah. Yeah, yeah that yeah, gets yeah, him yeah, in yeah. all the doors. Yep. Absolutely. Mm-hmm. Thanks mm-hmm. to Cody Ring. Thanks, Cody. 
Thanks to Willow Waste. Willow Waste. Thanks to Bobby Wayward. Bobby. Bobby Wayward, the child who went into juvenile delinquency. Uh, I mean, right? the Wayward Child. Yeah. Yes. He was like, but he's like a 1920s comic strip version of Absolutely. it, right? Absolutely. Yeah. Like he comes of, back and takes right? over the town. <laughs> he's got, he befriends the truant officer who yes. caught him with a net. <laughs> yeah, it's a net. Oh my god. Thanks to Robert Mischief. Thanks, Robert Mischief. Thanks to Spliff, the Great Gray Wolf. <laughs> Thanks, Spliff. <laughs> he loves Spliff so much. I know. I just picture him. Smoke a little joint yeah. behind a tiny tree. Not hiding him, but he thinks But lounging it is. back on his dog body. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Absolutely. Mm-hmm. We have the same image. Yeah. That's the point. Yeah. Thanks to ETN Campion Mason. Thank you or so much. Masson. Either or. Masson would make me fun. It would make me laugh the most. Yeah. So from now on, that's what it is. Okay, great. Until yeah. they correct us. Which, which no one has no ever one done. No one ever does. No one has ever done. We invite it. Yeah. Except okay? for this one person, thanks to Maith Demigod. <laughs> Maith Demigod. <laughs> Can you imagine? Interesting. He corrected it. Yeah. No, it's not math. It's, it's not math. Ma- it's Maith. And how dare you? <laughs> Maith Demigod. <laughs> Thought that was obvious. Yeah. I'm really regretting this $10 you, a month. Woof. <laughs> <laughs> Woof indeed. Mm-hmm. Sorry, Maith. Sorry, dude. Thanks to Driftless. Thanks, Driftless. That's your favorite. I'd like it uh, all the time. Yeah. Driftless like, is... What a- what an evocative, yeah. like, yeah. both a name, but even just, like, a word. I imagine Driftless as the umbrella in Mary Poppins. Oh, really? You know I mean? Yeah, like, people use him to get around magical, right. magically but from place to place. who is he on the inside? Don't know. Does he get to be himself? Are we ever going to learn the are Driftless we, story? I don't know. Who can say? Email us. Tell, yeah. tell us your tell story. Tell us the Driftless story. Everyone give us little haikus about themselves. Oh, Wouldn't yeah. Wouldn't be great? I a, can only do it if you want to, but i A I'll Driftless haiku? Yeah. Guess who's all the way in on that? Adamus. I was about to count those. Yeah, yeah, that, that, yeah that, that's all. That's my haiku. <laughs> Thanks to Dave Ruff. Thanks, Dave. Thanks to Bearkeeper. Thanks, Bearkeeper. That's yeah. fun. That's new. Yeah, I don't think it is new. Oh, okay. but we enjoy it afresh okay, every great. time. Every time I do. I mean, I think we've talked about how many bears do oh, does he need yeah, to yeah, have? Yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah, yes. Um, Thanks Naturally. to Evan Fineout. Thanks, Evan. Surf shop owner. Oh, absolutely. Have we said that before? Uh, there's I mean, no way I to, really feel there's like no that's, way to find out. <laughs> exactly. There's no way to find out. Yeah. We'll never uh, know. Mm-hmm. I feel like that's his destiny. If that's not what he does currently. Uh huh. Well, he's just on a surfboard for the rest of his life. Like he's just out oh, in the ocean. Permanent becomes, surfer. Yeah. One with the dolphin. Permanent surf. Yeah. 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 That's a great wife. Uh, if you, yeah. If right. You make it. Sure. Who wants a better life? I mean, I want to live with dolphins. I've I've heard dolphins are terrifying. I've heard that. I mean, they're awesome, but they're terrifying in that they basically match your intelligence. And that's They're terrifying. really smart. And I think they're like mischievous. Yes. Absolutely. Like they're, they're troublesome. Yeah. 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 So, yeah, you know, yeah. Like, well, that, like that might be you coming home. Doing. I yeah. know. Yeah. Like, eh, it takes one to no one. They might take you right back in. <laughs> Thanks to Ryan Bowdish. Thanks, Ryan Bowdish. I just keep seeing him making ashtrays. Oh, that's fun. Keep seeing it. Yeah. But yeah I don't yeah. know if that is fun. I don't think making ashtrays is a fun profession. Oh, I guess. Well, I guess I was thinking of like a oh, like a little artist out on his pottery wheel, and he's like making an like artisanal. homemade. Yeah, yeah, artisanal ashtray. Yeah, I guess. Yeah, just making a manufacturer like at a manufacturing plant. Yeah. You're just yeah, and then just ripping down the, cool cigarettes. Yes, ripping them down. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. You ever miss cigarettes? You huh? were never. You were you. You weren't much of a smoker, right? No, okay. I have had uh, it mixed with. I've had a spliff. It's sure, the sure, only sure. time I've tasted tobacco. Yeah. Sure. It was fun. The only time. Yeah. Then you've barely tasted the sweet, sweet delight. I know. I actually don't miss cigarettes that much. Uh, but once in a while I'm like, ah, yeah. that'd be nice. <sighs> yeah. But I never do it and I hope to never do it. I know. I, I knew it could never because I have a, if I like something, I want to do it all the time personality. <laughs> That's what I said. And it was true for 13 years. Yeah. So, you know, yeah. don't do it. Yeah. Uh, don't do it, but do, if your name is Maggie, thank this next person. Uh, uh-huh. uh, thank you, King Donna. <laughs> you gave me King Donna. Thank you. I wish, I wish this person saw the joy that it brings you. I love it. To every thank them time. every time. Yeah. I love it. Just really a deep, a profound joy. Yeah. A timeless joy. Uh-huh. Thanks to Brock Birkner. Thanks, Brock. Thanks to Broge. Thanks, Broge. And thanks to Melissa. Melissa. Who's clearly on the lam. Yes. Oh, and she's also no. She is uh, one of the only people who did correct us. Not a yeah. Missy, a Melissa. So if you remember, <laughs> yes, that's right. <laughs> yes, yes. Yeah. Oh, please, no, oh, not Missy. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. That's right. That's why if you tell me, I'll, I'll, I'll change my. We never ways. brought it up again. Yeah. Never brought it again. No. We thought about I it. Remember? Yeah. yeah. 
Yeah, it took a while for us to unlearn you that. You wonderfully corrected us. Yeah, gently, mm-hmm. I, too. Mm-hmm. I you know, appreciate it. Yeah. Uh, that's enough loose horse shit for one podcast. Great. Don't you agree? Yeah. I think so. Let's, uh, yeah. Let's get into the topic. Let's do it. Uh, the dying well, to know. The topic, mm-hmm. as I remember us phrasing it, <laughs> is movie everyone else hated that you loved. Yes. Right? Yeah. Or yeah. vice versa. I don't remember which I think which it was way. the first one. Okay. Yeah. I trust you. I believe you. Yeah, I believe me too. Yeah. And if not, that's what we did. I mean, so that's what you're getting. I'm implicated. Yeah, 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 yeah that's yeah, what yeah, we yeah. did. Yeah, that yeah. wasn't it. Uh, we had two interesting films here. Yeah. Yeah, quite an yeah. afternoon screening, actually. Yeah, both like, kind of, yeah. Yeah, one Long. of them was more divisive than the other, I would say. Sure, yeah. Well, I think we came in also with different, like one, I think we both kind of enjoyed in spite of other people not enjoying it that much. And then the other one... We less differed. less so less yeah. so yeah which is uh why uh-huh. i think it's maggie's turn to pick who goes first is it my it's turn? your turn okay let's <laughs> that, that siren Ooh. that you may not have heard was the sound of fear no, as maggie picked. To decide. Yeah. well i'm like i know which one we will have more to talk about so that makes me wonder if we should do it first or last that it's, it's it's this it's is my your power yeah, it's my power. power um okay let's uh let's talk about tree of life <laughs> oh tree of life oh tree of life this was my pick yeah uh mm-hmm. and it's safe to say it we had mixed feelings about it as we watched it mm-hmm. uh, and when so when was the first time you'd watch this i saw it in the theater yeah okay which i don't remember when it came out i want to say 2008 that sounds about right. Uh, yeah. I'm going to look it up real quick. And that was the last time you saw it. Too, That's right? the last time I saw uh-huh. it. Yeah, I did buy it because I, oh, 2011. Mm-hmm. Um, I bought it because mm-hmm. I really liked it a mm-hmm. lot. Yeah. Uh, even though I knew, I never, I never was not under the impression uh-huh. that it was pretentious. Yeah. I knew it was pretentious yeah, yeah, yeah. from minute one. Yeah. But I still liked it. Uh-huh. So, uh-huh. do you want to try to summarize this movie? Oh my, uh, not particularly. <laughs> I mean, do you want to try to summarize I it? I want to hear your summary of it. I oh, think that would okay. be very entertaining. Um, okay, it is about uh, a boy whose brother died at some point in his childhood. Yeah. Um, And about the, well, I guess like the ripple effects uh, that may or may not have led to the death of that child. Um, and then the little ripple effects of after the child dies. Um, and also, uh, does anybody hear me? It's me, Margaret. <laughs> um, uh, and, you know, and like, did yeah. that ripple effect, did, what did it, did it matter? Did it mean anything? Did it come from somewhere or, uh, and, and I guess all those questions, um, uh, I think his answer to it is, uh, Catholicism. <laughs> Very vague Catholicism. Yeah. 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 I guess that's, what, is, that's my it summary. Is, it yeah. is vaguely Catholic. I think I agree with that. Yeah. I mean, I just, look, when we, I did look up his stuff when we were watching it, just to get more answers. And I was like, oh yeah. Oh yeah. This oh, yeah. is I a, see. This is a, I see the crucifix right in yeah, there. Yeah. 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 This yeah. guy has a St. Joseph buried in his backyard and he did have a party to bury it. Really? That's I mean, interesting. No, that's just a thing oh, that that's Catholics just a bit. do. Okay, yeah. I, was like, yeah. I, was I don't like, know if he actually did that, but that is a thing that the Catholics really do. Yeah, I didn't even know that. Okay. Yeah, you can have a little like when you get out house, you have a little party, and then you and you bury Saint over. Joseph. Yeah, you bury Saint Joseph, to, patron saint. What of does he do? Family and you. household. Okay, yeah, just you know whatever. Look, trinkets. Catholics are full of trinkets. That's so true. Trinkets. Yeah, that's true. It's okay. very uh, yeah. Fascinating. Yeah. Um, Maggie, uh-huh. tell me why you despise this movie. <laughs> I like. I don't despise this movie. Yes, you do. No, I really don't. You, ha- it's you just, have to despise it at least. You. I mean, it sounds like you want me to despise no, it. No, you're right. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm, I'm trapping you. Please. It's more just like it. It. Um. It does very little for me. So there's nothing that I actively dislike about it. I like meditation. I like dinosaurs i like <laughs> um i like biology i like uh um that science i like feelings i like characters but it's almost like the experience of watching that movie is just saying 
like characters. Yeah. And I like these things. It doesn't feel like it really hangs together. Like coalesces into anything specific. Yeah. Yeah. And it's, and again, I think we're talking about this, like the perspective of it is both grand and granular, if you yes. will, which like that I, I love. And I think if you had, if Terrence Malick had written this on a piece of paper and been like, this will be my next movie. And I read it, I would be like, Oh, that sounds amazing. Like I, I can't wait to see, but then this is the movie that comes out of that. That yeah, doesn't you, um, doesn't satisfy. Yeah, like I think the the experiment uh, is an endeavor that I support, but I but the final result is like, oh, okay, well, this didn't really end up being what uh, satisfactory. Yeah, or even like I think that's true. Yeah, I don't. I also don't think it. I, I don't. I don't under stand asking the question if this is the his answer to it oh tell me more about that yeah i mean i'm I'm really curious about that i like it the question you know if i mean i think this movie asks a lot of questions it is very like big you know uh primordial questions why do we suffer does it matter does it matter does it do my you know um, but if the answer is like, I don't know, then it's like, well, okay. Or, or are you is saying, that how you f- do know? Well, it seems a little noncommittal. It's like, mm. well, we knew, we know what happened in the past. And I believe that one day we will be with our family again. It's like, okay, well, but the, the so what about the suffering though? But it Did doesn't you- answer the question. Yeah, it doesn't yeah. explicitly answer. It gives hope, but not an answer. Well, not even hope, though. Like, I oh, mean, you don't think the afterlife is hopeful? The existence no, of an afterlife scary. is hopeful? I mean, I like that they're that hugging, movie? but it's like, wait, wouldn't they have already met each other? But now you're only meeting each other when Sean Penn dies. And also, like, you're just, like, kind of wandering. And I guess you seem happy, but also you're just back in a house again. And where did everyone else go? Um, and, yeah, it's kind of a bittersweet uh yeah, it doesn't bring me any comfort. No. Interesting. Yeah, I thought that was really moving. Oh, really? Uh, I I did. I yeah. know that's kind of weird. I, I, cause I don't think. So. I mean, I think it's fair to say that for a good hour of this movie, both uh-huh. both of us were checked out on it. Yeah, like it was. Yeah, it, there it was. It, there was a lot of cool s- scenes and pastiches in it for mm-hmm. the first forty minutes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The cosmic stuff actually, I really like. Still, I, that's still that's my favorite part of it. The, yeah, the di- the moral dinosaur uh-huh. is is less problematic than i remember yes we were all yeah we Maybe were remembering people laughing at the yeah, dinosaur yeah. yeah when i've seen a jurassic world <laughs> since then and i'm like oh, okay so it gets much worse yes yes fair enough it's much worse to be had much much worse uh so that's fine uh i thought there were times this was really successful mm-hmm. um but it doesn't it's not it's not a good watch on like the, ooh, this really feels meaningful every step of the way. Yeah. And you get tired of it for sure. Right. For sure you get tired of it. It's also like, I I mean, even like with the Catholicism context, it also doesn't necessarily ring true to me. Like there's so much Catholicism in it, but in a way that do- didn't, yeah, I don't know, especially the depiction of, the afterlife. It was very confusing to yeah, me. Yeah, it was very lost season six. Yeah, you know, exactly. Like, yeah. yeah, it's like, oh, wait, so you're just wandering around. You're not like in the uh, the blissful, like. It was non Um, mm-hmm. I think the thing we we're supposed to get from that was the idea of there kind of being a rebirth, sort of new, a, a new connection where people, all those wounds are healed. And I'm getting that from the movie, not yeah, not because yeah, yeah, yeah. of Catholic theology. Oh yeah, 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 I, yeah. I, I it's like, like yeah, they're all you not in the third beach, together again. You know, like it's yeah, yeah. It feels very like almost like the way it's described in Lord yeah. of the Rings. But then the question is like, did any of that stuff matter that we saw? If at the end it's all just happy and together again, like oh, is that a problem? It, it, happy and together again is a problem for mattering. Uh. N- not a problem, but it was like, okay, well, if you're saying in the end, it's all just going to be fine anyways, then 
what are like it needs what do you to not feel be about fine? your journey? No, no, no. Just like uh if it ends up being all fine, then you being sad about your missing brother, like it ends up being fine. So it kind of just deadens the whole experience to so, me. So if I'm in understanding you correctly, uh-huh. you're saying the fact that there's no clear resolution to it creates a problem about no, like what like, does this mean? Just like emotionally. Cause if the whole, qu- it's right. a, if this is really about a meditative survivor's guilt, like his life has been stuck because his, this happened when he was younger and then, but it's just that, well, one day he's going to die too. And then it will be fine. Uh, then it's like, well, then I'm curious. Why are we, why are we doing this? Yeah. Yeah. Kind so of. So it doesn't answer the, why are we doing this part? The fact that pain mm-hmm. will be ab- absolved in this, I- in this worldview mm-hmm. doesn't solve the problem. It's not about pain being gone. It's about pain being purposeful. Is that, I think so. Is that or right? it's like, I think he wants pain to be purposeful. Well, but I mean, what is the purpose of the pain? If right. The, if the end, it, it is all just, you know, find and, and wonderful, then what was the purpose? It's like the question I'm re-asking the question you yeah, started the movie with because they did. Yeah. They brought up Job in the beginning, which yeah. was, uh, we knew we were in for something when that yeah. happened. Uh, well that's, I mean, that is uh-huh. the question of Job, right? Like Job as a book right. is fundamentally, uh, this man suffers seemingly right. arbitrarily yeah, and sort of but says, that has a logic to it. He suffers. So because, uh, well, Job suffers because it tests his faith and he remains faithful. So he is like a true believer. Therefore, God, you know, is able to. Oh, that's interesting. I yeah. read that book a little differently in the sense that there's a divine wager that happens off screen, mm-hmm. not off screen, but it happens yeah. in the text. It's off screen for Job. Right. And Job, um, it doesn't know any of that stuff. So from his vantage point, mm-hmm. he's been faithful mm-hmm. and then his life has completely upended and, bl- and obliterated. Mm-hmm. Right. Right. And like his kids are killed and yeah. his money is gone. He's living in a trash heap outside the city. Yeah. He's a mockery. He's sick. Yeah. And he's like, you know, why did this happen? And his uh-huh. friends show up and they're like, you must've done something wrong. Yeah. And he's like, that's not it. Yeah. And then he gets an answer from God. And the answer from God is I am God. Mm-hmm. You are not. Therefore, that's it. That's the answer. I am God. Right. But and, it, I mean, I guess I always write it also as he never lost faith. Like that was the wager he between d- he him didn't and lose faith. That was between him and Satan. Satan is like, that's right. I will make him rebuke you. I will ruin his life. That's right. And God is like, watch. No, he is he a won't. faithful servant. He will not. Right. And he never gave up his faith. Therefore, that's an in the that's end, that's yeah, a great point. That's a really good point. Uh-huh. He. But I still like, I guess I tend to think of it from his point of view, right? Mm. From Joe's point of view. Mm -hmm. He doesn't get an answer that is, that would quantify why this happened Mm -hmm. in Job. He gets an answer that is, the character of God is such that I cannot ask this question Mm -hmm. or I can't demand an answer for this question. Mm -hmm. I have to trust him on his character. Right. And which is a faithful move. So it reinforces Mm -hmm. what you're saying. This movie doesn't have God in it, mm-hmm. r- really. Nah. You know what I mean? Yeah. So like, and I, mean, I don't we have the, the point of view of God, but we're the God almost. So you know, a, a bird's eye view coming back in and out. Yeah, and I think there's sometimes that's really valuable in a movie like this, and sometimes mm-hmm. it's really not valuable in a movie like this. Mm-hmm. Um, I think in this movie, it, the problem with it shows up at the end, where it's like, well, what mm-hmm. do I take from these kind of cliches on mm-hmm. the beach? Um, but you know, like Terrence Malick is so good at shooting stuff that's like evocative and emotional that like sometimes mm-hmm. he short circuits my brain and I'm like, I don't care. It looks beautiful yeah. and I can, and like it works, you know? Yeah. Um, and he's really good at that. Yeah. He's very good at that, but it's not satisfactory on a narrative level. I agree. Well, and also, I mean, I, I mean, some of the visuals are pretty, but I also did get pretty bored of the visuals. It's like, yeah, you can only absorb it for so long. Tree. Okay. It's the longest two hours I've been in a long time. Yeah. You know, interestingly, the last time we had uh-huh. a long, it was Enter the Void. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Which was yeah. A, a couple years earlier, but mm-hmm. same concept. Yeah. You know, yeah. Um, very different point of view. Totally. But, and I also thought that was boring, you mm-hmm. know, and they're both, and, and I think Enter the Void has more narrative than this does. Mm-hmm. 
Yeah. Right? Like, yeah. Mm-hmm. But we're doing a backtracking through their life. Mm-hmm. This is what it meant. Yeah. You know, and then you sort of have to figure out, do I care? Right. Does it? Right. Does you know? it? Yeah. Um, I guess. F- so like, I know most people are going to line up with you on this, which is fine. I, I expected that. I mean, that's the topic, isn't it? It yeah. is the topic. Yeah. And I'm not, I, this isn't a covert way for me to talk about a religious movie because that's not really what and interested I for- me about I'd it. I've forgotten how much, I think we're both, we're like, whoa, I do not remember this much. No, I just really like Terrence uh-huh. Malick yeah. in general, but I find like I have a, a frustrating relationship with him. I couldn't make uh-huh. a movie the way he does. Yeah. And I wouldn't because yeah. I don't like it. Yeah. But I do like his movies. Mm-hmm. You know, like mm-hmm. I, I do think he has a talent and a quality that's like mm-hmm. transcends the format a bit. Mm-hmm. That's why mm-hmm. I love. I mean, he was a contemporary of Lynch and I think Lynch is the same. Yeah. Or is it um, Jack Fisk, uh, same production designer as all of Yeah, they're sharing, yeah. they're swapping PDs. Yeah. Um, and I think there's something really cool about uh, the way that he, I mean, first of all, everyone should know, he just kind of runs around with a camera and shoots whatever. Yeah. And then a lot of what the script is, is <laughs> uh-huh. stuff that they find in editing. Now, mm-hmm. I don't know for sure that's how he worked on Tree of Life, but I do right. know that's how he works on other films. Yeah. From people mm-hmm. who I know that have worked with him. Mm-hmm. So like, um, that's kind of his method. And I think you feel that in this movie mm-hmm. where it feels like he got on a steady cam and he just kind of ran around <laughs> and cut stuff together. That was really uh-huh. cool. Yeah. Um, something about his method takes away a lot of the ostentatiousness of film and gets mm-hmm. into the pure feeling what it's like to watch another person. Like almost like a, if you hadn't seen a lot of movies, the way you would feel about it, if it was seeing a movie again for the first time, mm. like he kind of gets that. Mm. from this and i know it's like that sounds bullshit maybe yeah. it is no no, no. Uh, mm-hmm. but like there's something about the unprint the unfiltered mm-hmm. feeling of it the yeah. unplanned feeling of it mm-hmm. that feels like there's a discovery going on mm-hmm. as you're watching it yeah you also got amazing amazing performances out of That's those kids my favorite thing is yeah well and all like jessica too not, not so much brad pitt not dead pitt. yeah not dead pitt dead pitt was not, not yeah not or my sean favorite. penn either of them they were like wow empty uh, empty what did hello have, what does sean penn have to work with there? Just, nothing actually because yeah. we don't actually know like, anything going to an office yeah. and thinking about it and then going to a hallway yep it was really funny though. This was the first time I noticed that he goes up the elevator to heaven and then he takes it back to hell. He's just like, it was going up in the skyscraper. The skyscraper shots though were amazing. They were great. Yeah. Anyway, I know. Like, I, so I, I mm-hmm. guess I'm guilty of every, everybody has a movie they like that's scene chewing mm-hmm. or that's like, I just like the visuals, man. And I yeah. have more than a few of those. Uh-huh. This is the most that I think yeah. for me. I really like the visuals of it. That's so. I feel like usually I'm also that person. I'm going to like take or leave a plot. I don't care very much. But yeah, for some reason, this didn't evoke many visceral feelings for me. It was like the... I mean, the cur- like the nature stuff was like cool, but yeah, it did very much like... Yeah, I've also seen this in like a Dave Attenborough, you know, type of way. Um, and same with like the domestic stuff. Like it was like cool and wonderful, but also... Yeah, we've seen this house for about an hour now, and we have and another hour get to it. go. <laughs> we get it. Um, don't put a frog on a rocket. I, yeah, like, don't do that. Don't do that. Don't do that. Dad's mean, and when he's away, people are happier. Yeah. That's about an hour of the movie. Right. You know? Yeah. It was it's, also interesting how, like, the later things the movie seems to be concerned about, almost, it was almost like, well, then why did we open the movie with this terrible tragedy if now we're kind of just discussing This is what dad? life is. Yeah. yeah, or like, yeah, like what does, are you saying one has to do? And I guess I, I don't need an answer, but it was like they didn't, he didn't have an idea either of like, did it? It's an, yeah, it's almost like he decided, how will I answer the question of what, mattered uh-huh. with this kid's life. Right. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to look very closely at life for a while. Yeah. And see if an answer emerges. Yeah. And this is the movie of that. Uh-huh. And like, so like that, I mean, I'm making your point for you, I think. Oh, sure. Yeah. You know, like, yeah, um, I don't think, I don't think yeah. of this as being a successful religious allegory, really. Um, mm-hmm. it's, I, I think of it as being, having a religious, 
background to it and yeah, like evoking a, some symbols, but not really, yeah, not, you know, uh huh. Um, which is so, interesting because he is asking, like we said, when they begin, he's asking big questions, but then it's almost like, not that I even need it to be more religious, but it's like, well, if you're asking the question, like it, that's a okay a question to ask, right? But it was like, but our, but then it seems like he was almost not committal in asking the question. I mean, he probably didn't want to, you know, say like, okay, so 2000 years ago, there was a guy named Jesus. You know what I mean? Like, I know, right, right. Like he probably right. doesn't want to do that. Yeah. Uh, and honestly, Catholicism is pretty boring, convoluted. So it's like, yeah, you don't want to get into those, that weed either. You really it, don't. It would not be easy be to a, summarize Catholicism. Yeah, yeah, it would not make for a movie. <laughs> not, not one movie. No. It would take more than that. Yeah. Uh, that's, that's accurate. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I mean, but like, to be fair, mm -hmm. it, there is a version of this movie that is like probably a religious version. It sure. could even be Catholic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, that's a bit more of a narrative. I just think that would have made it feel prescripted to people. Yeah. I mean, that doesn't mean it's wrong. I, right. It's just that like, yeah. You know, are people going to sit there and hear like, okay, here's the, here's the Buddhist version. Here's the Buddhist answer. Right, right, right. It's a Buddhist movie. Right. What's life about? Here's Buddhism. Uh-huh. I don't know. Are, are they interested in that? You I know? don't. I I I don't know. But I think also it's like, well, did does does he have an answer in mind? And therefore, I don't think he communicated it well. Or does he not have an answer? And that's fine too. But then, um, you know, yeah, it does come. If there's not an answer, then it does come off just a little bit more Seen like chewing. self. Yeah. Yeah, self yeah. Just like, okay. His, his movies have yeah. always been a bit self-involved. Yeah. Um, less, less earlier in his career. I mean, uh -huh. basically after this one, they get more and more that way. Interesting. Yeah. Um, I still think Thin Red Line is his best movie, but mm -hmm. I think this is the movie he was always trying to make. Yeah. Like I think all that of his movies yeah. led to this. Uh huh. Um, and you know, yeah, it's not for everybody. Yeah. Um, and I, I understand that. Yeah. And, uh, I, but I do like the ambition of it a lot. Mm. I like the idea of it a lot. Yeah. Uh, because I do think if somebody made this movie, but was like, I'm going to tell a little tiny story to do it. Uh huh. It would feel like. Uh, <laughs> like ordinary people. Like one of my well, favorite Well, quite honestly, movies. you know, I mean, the, the, the right movie to contrast this with mm -hmm. a serious man. Have you ever seen a serious oh, man? Oh, sure. Yeah. Yeah. Cause that is yeah. the same movie. Yeah. You know, yeah. I didn't like, I, I, I didn't like serious, serious man. man. I, I didn't did. like it. I, I, yeah. I didn't think it was bad. I just mm -hmm. thought it was mean. I thought it was a mean spirited movie. Oh, sure. Yeah. In a way that was like, that's not true. Um, at least that's how I felt about it. Mm -hmm. But you know, that's how people are going to feel about your life too. So yeah, I'm not, I'm not, uh, we all have a drum to beat on that, I guess. Mm -hmm. But like, I, I guess for my taste, having mm -hmm. a specific narrative starts to feel confining. Yeah. I mean, I don't, you know? I don't need a specific narrative, but it was like, yeah. yeah, there was kind of, yeah, it was more like the question of what impact does anything have on anything felt like that was a question the movie was asking, but it's like, but that's kind of fundamental to putting images together is there it's, will be meaning between those images. It was too big of a, it was too big of a question for the, for the venue. Maybe I think so. It might've been too big of a question yeah. for the venue. That's a hard thing to answer. Right. In a movie. And also I think the thing not working in its favor is that we get the, the whole primordial ooze thing that happens like way before the mid, like between the beginning and the midpoint. It's it in happens the like early second act. Okay. Yeah. Early you know? second act. Yeah. But yeah, but then we don't get anything like that for a very long time. And it's like, we don't get anything like that ever again, ever again, really. Yeah. And it's like, my brain is still preoccupied with that thing that happened. But now I'm, I mean, uh, it's funny. Cause if you'd kept going with it, we uh -huh. would have had this whole conversation about like, what are we trying to make a discovery channel? Which is exactly the bit you right, were saying. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but like on some other level, mm -hmm. it did feel like he got closer to what he was actually saying there. I know, yeah. Um, I, honestly, I'd rather, I would, I would trade more of it for less of some of the things that I think it didn't need. Because to me, sure. that's when it was at least, yeah, being ambitious and, you know, uh, yeah, evoking uh, more thought-provoking things in those sequences. Um, but yeah, then they just disappeared. So I was like, yeah. 
It almost felt like a confidence thing, like, which I understand it's a big swing, but yeah, it's, it's the biggest swing ever. Yeah. It's a huge swing. Yeah. I kind of love big swings. Um, yeah. I, I appreciate them when they're authentic and uh-huh. people are giving it a shot. I think this is, um, I don't think it's yeah. successful. I think, um, I think it's both a big swing, but I also think he didn't swing far enough. He like swung, but then he was like, but then he still put a check swing back. That's, in, like, that's, 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 that's it. That's yeah, yeah. I swung. Remember when I swung 45 minutes ago? It's like, he, he definitely I lost do. the thread halfway through the movie. That's, there's no doubt about that. Yeah. Speaking of losing yeah. the thread, yeah. uh, it's probably time to switch. Yeah. Because otherwise we're going to keep talking doing forever. this. Yeah. Honestly, we never, talk. the would, suffering will never I end. I would keep talking about this movie with you forever. I know. I know. It's a great, yeah, it's yeah. great. It's so, so, okay. You know what? To its point, to its credit, it, I, there's a lot to talk about. I, I, I think it's extremely that. evocative. Yeah. Uh, and, yeah. and, uh, art, it, it's, it is art in that way. Mm hmm. In mm-hmm. that, like, successful or not, mm-hmm. it makes you have a real conversation. Yeah. How many films do that? Yeah. Not very many. I really want to know if, if that is his picture of the afterlife. I don't even. I want to know. I don't, even, I don't care, but I want to know. Like, if he was sitting sure. in front of me right now, I would ask him. Just because that's fascinating to me. Yeah. I, I agree. Guess. Or, like, whether that's just a way of expressing something un- inexpressible. Yeah, you yeah, know? yeah. Don't know. <sighs> Uh, shall we move on to Maggie's film? Let's do it. Uh, equally ostentatious, I think. Yeah. Equally ambitious, ambitious, some might say. Sure. Uh, Maggie selected the film Saltburn. Saltburn, baby. From last year. Emerald Mm -hmm. Fennell's film, Saltburn. Yeah. Um, which I believe we've covered on this channel once or twice, which. Oh, on this. On this Patreon. Oh, okay, yeah, because you cover it for I did. yes. I'm only mentioning it so yes. that people don't think I'm double dipping and yes. not knowing. No, you it. watched it a full third time. You seen it three yes. times. Yes, seen it three times. Yeah. Um. The my so all mm-hmm. I'll say about that is mm-hmm. I still like the film. I know. I still really like. Yeah. It. Yeah. Yeah. You know. Uh huh. Um. Yeah. I am intrigued to talk about who hated it. Yeah. But a lot uh, of people did. Yeah. Can I tell you some of the things that people said to me? So into it. Okay. So first, I think one of the things that really helped is that I heard that people hated it before I ever saw it. People were like, I like viscerally hated this movie. Um, and so I was like, oh, okay. So really I went in and low expect expectations on the floor, which I usually go in with no expectations. Um, but in this case, I think it really helped because it was like, whoa, wait, this is. This is very well directed. Uh, it's super well directed. Super well directed. Calls to mind some of my like really favorite old British like dark comedies. Like they're all like this. It's someone's rich, someone's not rich, and how many people do I need to kill to become rich? <laughs> like that is such classic a classic scheme. Yeah, classic scheme. A very classic, like especially set where it, you know, like the British aristocracy, uh, you know, it's, uh, private school thing. If it's very, you know, like drawing from a lot of, you know, fun films that have come before it, but like a fun, you know, modern twist, I like sexy stuff. Yeah. Um, I mean, Talented Mr. Ripley is probably the best. Yes. Yeah. That's yeah. The, the best touchstone for this because uh-huh. it's pretty close to that. Yeah. Um, you know, it's dude is grasping on to an aristocrat for what seems like maybe love. Yeah. Or personal, you know, like just status. Yeah. But what he's actually doing is planning to take his life. Right, right. You know? And you can question how much of either of those things are in play at any one moment, which I think is very fun. Yeah. Um, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. So things that people said about it. Uh, uh, someone, my friend who saw it, who hated it, said that it felt like the director was in his ear being like, and you won't even guess what happens next, which is wild. Cause I was like, I never felt like that. What does that even mean? I don't know. I, I, he was like, yeah, like, I just like, it was too the, snarky. None of the twists work for me. And I was like, I don't feel like this, she was really trying to pull one over on you. Like it didn't feel like a movie with a lot of twists. Yeah. Yeah. I was like, I didn't feel like it was trying to like make a lot of, twists yeah and he he also said that the um he said that the like shocking things in it uh felt like they were just there to like 
shock him but also like i didn't think it was that shocking that was the one of the things that i was surprised about because people were like oh it's like so fucked up and it's like and it's like well i mean he slurps little jizz it's not like the craziest thing in the world you that know and the, the, the period the, yeah yeah blood, he, you know yeah that was in yeah it's i mean it's something. shocking sure sure the but nudity was also pretty intense yeah i mean it's a lot of nudity it is yeah and it's yeah we don't yeah. see a lot of nudity right like that. But I also I don't think it that was there to like sadistically get a response, a cheap response from me. It felt like, well, this is the mood. This is what it's about. Sex is power. And I agree with you. I do think the choice to have him have sex with a grave. Oh, sure. Yeah. Is a choice that's going to lose a percentage of people. (laughs) Sure. You know, like big swings. That's a pretty big swing. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. That's that's an epic (laughs) swing. Put it that way. For sure. Yeah. You know, also um, to me, it's like. I, I mean, again, like I'm a, a care, like I love character studies, whatever. Like the type of ladder climbing middle class, he acts like he is not, you know, upper middle class, but he is this type of like, like the type of people who would both kill the person who owes them a lot of money, but also like kind of wants to fuck them because they want to be that rich. It's like that. That's exactly what it is. They want to be you and they want you and how much is one or the other yeah it's like up to interpretation at any given moment but i mean that's uh go all the way back to Mm -hmm. the bible again yeah cain yeah anyone like you know same same idea Uh it's not sexual per se but like Mm -hmm. same idea like jealousy Mm -hmm. creates murder yeah um, wanting to be somebody absolutely yeah turns into murder Uh uh-huh yeah i think adding the sexual element is exactly like yeah. especially yeah further it it i think the sexual element is a mm-hmm. way of talking about mm-hmm. how people perceive high value mm-hmm. young people now yeah and like power you know? dynamic and you know a little, little bit of yeah the power of getting to tell someone what to do a little bdsm stuff here and there of right i mean like you know, and it, yeah. it's a bit of a parable in that way like yeah. this this also like the last movie is a uh-huh. bit of a parable yeah it's more of a narrative obviously but like uh it's yeah. a it feels like a moral parable almost like treasure sierra madre or something mm-hmm. where we're exploring a specific social moral like mm-hmm. it's a story, it's a social story mm-hmm. that is exploring, uh, what it means to be rich, hot, exploitative mm-hmm. and the con and like what it takes to get there Yeah, and what's underlying that. Yes. You know, like that's yes. and the pursuit of, yeah. 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 And, uh, like in some ways, Oliver played by Barry Keegan, uh-huh. uh, is profane, but like the movie continues to try to mm-hmm. show us that actually he's, uh, the window into who everybody else is. Yeah. You he's know, jail. like They're he's exa- the yeah. stained glass window uh-huh. through which the whole rest of this movie makes sense. Right. Um, and I, yeah. To me, it's just like, also like this time it more stood out to me how all of the, the characters in the family, whenever it comes to choosing someone like him who uh, like wants to kill them, doesn't actually like them. It is lying to their face or someone who slightly disagrees with them. Like the other kid, anytime that there's like a real, you know, actual little disagreement or whatever, it's get out. You are no longer part of the family. They'd rather be with someone who's, you know, wants to kill them as long as it, you know, strokes their ego a little bit longer. Like that's (laughs) great. The movie really (gasps) hammers in a subtle way, hammers Mm. the concept of things appearing uh, like everyone here values how things appear. Yeah. Everybody here Mm -hmm. wants to look and seem a certain way. Mm -hmm. And that's the truth of it. Mm -hmm. And if you don't do that, Mm -hmm. then you, uh, then you don't belong here. Yeah. It starts with this really seemingly innocuous scene when you think about it, but it actually, it's sort of like a Rosetta stone Mm -hmm. where Oliver is in a, some kind of a meeting with a professor Mm -hmm. and he meets, uh, the other guy. Yeah. Uh, what's it? Farley. His name. Yeah. He meets Farley who is, we, as we'll discover later, mm-hmm. a, also a, a person who's leeching off of this rich family. Mm-hmm. Um, but he is more 
fitting to that environment. He's yeah. handsome. He's tall. He's accustomed mm-hmm. to it. He right. He's been there. He has hot the trappings minute. of being rich. Yeah, and so on. And they have this conversation about Barry's essay, uh-huh. and uh, it becomes very clear Barry's essay is great. He's mm-hmm. really smart and thoughtful. And Farley's comment is, "You use the word thus a whole lot." Mm-hmm. Right. And, and he's like, so, and he's like, it's just not a real word. People don't use it anymore. Mm-hmm. And Barry says, so you're going to attack the style yeah. over the substance. Mm-hmm. And, uh, Farley never engages with that conversation. Well, he says, uh, it's a perfectly isn't that valid. What it is. Right. Yeah. Uh, it's not what you say. It's how you say it. Right. Yeah. It, it's a great scene to tell you what the movie's really about. Mm-hmm. And I in particular appreciate it because I'm tired of the ignoring the question of substance. That's, yeah. that's boring now to me. Uh-huh. Yeah. Um, you know, and like this movie is more carefully pointed at that. I know. And I like that. Cool. Why else do people hate it? I don't know. Uh, one per- The one person who I talked to before watching it who liked it said that when they're in the theater, um, uh, <laughs> she was sitting next to just like an old couple. Uh, and she thought the scene where he's <laughs> slurping up the jizz was really hot. Oh. And yeah, the, the couple next to her Disagree. was like, <laughs> yeah. like, oh, like, so it ruined it the for theater, her. I think, yeah, well, I mean, she still liked the movie, but she was like, that's a, I heard a visceral reaction in the theater. And no one else liked it in the way that she liked it. Um, so she's representing other people's point of view. Yeah. Yeah. I was observing other people's point of view. Um, it was a divisive movie. Yeah. Also her first movie promising young woman was, was a yeah. divisive movie. Yeah. And that's what I didn't, I does not see I did not like promising young woman. This yeah. is the movie that made me be like, Oh, okay. Okay. I've met more right. women that didn't like promising young women than I ever expected to. Yeah. And by that, that I mean surprising. about half. Yeah. Yeah. And, uh, they, but from all, every angle of why they don't like it. Yes. Every single angle. Yeah. Uh, so mm-hmm. I think that means she's doing something right. Oh, I do. I mm-hmm. normally, I don't normally I'm like, Oh, that's no. a, obnoxious. I strongly disagree with promising. Not young women. N- you can dislike the movie. It's all good. But like, yeah. I think it, you being anyone, you being, <gasps> oh. but I uh. think that her ability to evoke really passionate disgust is, uh, tells us um, that she's effective at her job. I think yes for Saltburn. I think not for promising. Not for woman. promising. No, no, okay. that did not give me a visceral response. That was just what are you uh, blue balls? <laughs> oh, not enough murder. Uh, not enough anything. Nothing. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, Interesting. But I mean, all to say, to credit this movie, I was like, oh shit, holy crap! You know. I am now a fan and she's very talented. There's, there's no is, question yeah, about that. This movie. I was like, yes. Very, yeah. She's, very a, she's a mega star. I think, mm. um, I mm-hmm. think she's a really creative writer and director. Yeah. And, uh, but I also do wonder what other people hated about it so much. I did hear, a, uh, some people didn't like it because they were saying it was just like a ripoff of, the talents of Mr. Ripley, which it's an insane critique. I know. Cause it's like, uh, have you ever watched a Marvel movie? Well, uh, or like have a, you ever watched, yeah. like every, every movie has influences. What are we talking about? Right. And also it's like, there's a, like I said, there's a, 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 a long English tradition of, uh, there are so many plays that are basically a movie like that, you know, Absolutely. it's not talents of Mr. Ripley did not invent this. And also talents of Mr. Ripley is much more about, him being gay and living a double life where this is like, well, everyone's, you know, fluid. Bit, yeah. Everyone's there's a fluidity. Yeah. To there's it. a fluidity to it. So it's less like about that and how that can change your life and more about how sex operates in a, yeah. you know, it's structure like this. Yeah. I appreciate that sex was a mechanism in this movie Me too. and, and uh, basically only a mechanism. Yeah. And I appreciated that. I thought yeah. that was smart. Uh huh. Um, it was great. Yeah, it was. And yeah. I, I continue to think Barry Keegan is a big star. I love Barry Huge Keegan. Huge star. Yeah. Um, really yeah. excited about his career as an actor. I loved all the performances. I loved them. Loved yeah, them. they were all great. Yeah, they're all great. They're, this is a good yeah. cast. I do think that was one other thing that people disliked is they're all very grounded, but there is like little tightening here. That You know, it is like 
campy in moments. Um, and I think people may have wanted one or the other, like either make them all, you know, whatever, or make it all. But I, I like, I liked I hate that this. too. I hate yeah. every critique you've put uh, every, I mean, I guess it's my podcast, so I get to be the yeah, guy who smashes be. them out. But I am also wondering, am I uh, like, what am I missing? Like, I, I would be curious for commenters to, to, to air they their can. grievances. They can. So I'm uh, just curious. Really. Which is fine. And you know, yeah. everyone can have their opinion. I just, yeah. uh, and like, I'm not, you know, it's not like the best movie of the year or anything. Yeah. Which no. some people were saying it was. Right. That, I don't think that. That's no. not true. No. Um, but I think it's a really solid caper film. Yeah. You know, like a solid human drama caper film. Yeah. Like what else do you want from this? Yeah. I do think it is hard for some people to like a movie when there is no character to like. And I do think this is definitely that movie. Like every character is, but I, I don't, all TV I don't feel has that been way. For 20 years. You know what I mean? Like except for yeah. Ted Lasso, it's like, right. like this is a thing. Like mm-hmm. you ever watch Euphoria? I mean, yeah, the guy, yeah, the kid, the guy you know? is from Euphoria who's in it. Right. Or like yeah. Breaking Bad, anybody? Or, I know. you know, The Sopranos, any yeah. of you? You know, it's, I know. Mad Men, I can go I on know. and on. It, I know. All these great shows and, yeah. you know, movies too. It's right. Like, it's like, yeah. But maybe, yeah, I don't know. Maybe it's because he's gay. And people are like, well, but not like that. I don't know. I don't think that's a- actively what many people are thinking. I, I don't actually think I, I that's. I think it's one of these gross. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not that he's gay, but that he's right. gross. Yeah, the whole movie's kind of gross. Like he's doing, he's, he's he very depraved. Out. Yeah. And yeah. De- depraved in a way that's like, um, not depravity that's solicitous or exciting. Right. Depravity that's like actually horrifying and gross. You don't want to yeah, look at, you don't don't look wanna, at it. Yeah, we don't want to. You don't want to look at yeah. it. Yeah. You know? Um, there's no, thank some, you. Right. Yeah. Right. Most of the time in films, we're very careful to show depravity in a way that people can relate to. Yes. You know? Yeah, there's so, not, this so is they're not salacious. With that. Yeah. No, 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 yeah. no, no. This movie's like uh-huh. this is what it's really like, which yeah. I think is why I like it. Same. Um, yeah. I also do have the experience of yeah, going to. I didn't go to Oxford, but a school like this, and it's like, yep, a new person like that, new person like that, new person just like that. Do you know? Just did you like know a guy that? like the math nerd? Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, he was real mad about the sums. He's so mad. Show me a sum. Yeah. Give me a fucking sum. Oh my God. <laughs> Give me a sum. Hey. <laughs> Uh, well, I think we've done our job here, yeah, don't you? I think, that's it. I think it's time to thank the rest of our producers. I think so as well. Because of the love that we have for them. Mm-hmm. Um, specifically, and most importantly, Adam by the Birch. Adam by the Birch. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you to Vic Legina. <laughs> Vic Legina. Hello. Yep. That, uh, that, one, that one worked for all of us. Yeah. Thanks to Nate. Thanks, Nate. Thanks to Adam Duncan. Thanks, Adam. Thanks to Brain and a slightly larger than average jar. Thanks, Brain. <laughs> Thank you, Brain. <laughs> Thank you, Brain. Thank you. I hope that's really his first name. Or uh, her. That'd be her wonderful. first name. Oh, my God. Yeah, Brain. Picture birthing a child and be like, Brain. Yeah, look at her. My little brain. <sighs> um, thanks to Timothy Schreiner. Thanks, Timothy Schreiner. Thanks, Nikolai Glecker. Nikolai Glecker. Thanks to Aaron Signs. Aaron Signs. I like to think that uh, even though there's a different spelling. Uh-huh. He watches every year on his birthday, Mel Gibson signs. Oh, sure. Yeah. That'd be fun What's to watch those every aliens? year. Yeah. You know, is it going to be water again? Is, is it going to be water again? <laughs> Let me guess. Spoilers. It's always water. <laughs> Thanks to Cake Meister. Thanks, Cake. Thanks to Jesse Clay. Jesse Clay. Thanks to Jane Quigley. Jane Quigley. Thanks to Sean Bibinat. Sean Bibinat. But, but not, oh my God, I fumbled, fumbled the ball back to the yard line. A thing that Sean Bibbenhead doesn't do because he's definitely <sighs> afraid of football. Oh, sure. Yeah. He's not yeah. even at the arena. No, he, no. he read up on concussions. He's like, I'm yeah, not yeah. doing that. No, thank you. No, I'd like to keep my brain. Yes, I will paint. In a normal jar. Yeah. You know, bruiseless. Yeah. Thank nope. you. Thank, Thank you. you. Thanks to Ben. Thanks, Ben. Thanks to Garrett Cooper. Garrett. So beautiful. That's a fun name. Oh, what a beautiful All person. Mm-hmm. Right. Thanks to Benjamin Egan. Benjamin. Thanks to Christopher Quattroche. Christopher Quattroche. Thanks to Christina Ruiz. Christina Ruiz. A.K.A. Breezy. Breezy. A.K.A. We love you. Breezy. Bro. Thanks to Kyle Schrotel. Do-do. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot that stupid bit. <laughs> Um, I always think of, for whatever reason, I'm always thinking mm-hmm. of like a, like some kind of a tool, like a, oh, a like a, scap- a, scrap- a scalpel. Scrapple, it's a scalpel. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm always thinking of a scalpel. Yeah. Not that creative. No, it's fun though. Yeah. We're Shrotel scalpels. Pretty yeah. great. <laughs> Somebody's got to make the thing that cuts you open. Thank God for uh, Kyle yeah, Shrotel. Yeah, you know who that is? Uh, my family. Oh, I forgot. Your dad is Kyle Shrotel. 
Yeah. Yeah. You I forgot, forgot about my dad's Kyle Schulte. Yeah. Yeah. Didn't mean to bust up his shit here. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry, Mr. Sorry. Kyle Schulte. Sorry, Mr. Kyle. Uh, thanks to Faye in a way. Thanks, Faye. Thanks to Dr. DNA. DNA, PhD. <laughs> Apparently you want that's to say it. DNA. I know. You loved it. Thanks to Daniel Christensen. Thanks, Dave. Thanks to Taylor Carriage. Taylor Carriage. High fives to Taylor Carriage. Aw. And thanks finally to Maggie's favorite, Adam and Tamium Jello. Adam and Jello. I did make Jello recently and I did think of Adam Tamium Jello. So. Did you, have you never noticed he does one L? Yeah. Like what a fiend. I know. I know. Like, you know we want there to be two L's. This is, you know. This is some Oliver Twist shit here, you know? Oh, yeah. This is some, isn't that, a, by the way, isn't, oh, Quick. His name's Oliver Quick. Yeah. I was like, is his name Oliver Twist? Is this the first time that occurred to me? <laughs> <laughs> it's named there for an orphan? That's insane. Well, uh, uh, I don't know. I feel done. Do you feel done? Yeah. We okay. we saw a lot of movie today. We did. But, yeah. Yeah. I think we should think about whether we want to screen things we know we might like, like might not like. Oh, I mean, no, we had okay, fun. Sure. We had fun. We had fun. Yeah. But like, it could, what a bummer yeah. that was. Though. I know. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Yeah. Sorry. Uh, I didn't mean to don't disparage apologize. our time. No, not at all. Okay. I mean, listen, I, I, I watched so many bad movies in my life I was and I will say, not stop. Yeah. Um, nothing will stop so this you. This is, yeah. You're a force. Yeah. Then day. forget what I said. Yeah. Why am I Take even it saying? back. Yeah. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. <laughs> yeah. Oh my God. You might need to bleep that. <laughs> This has been a Small Beans endeavor. We're a bunch of pals who make podcasts, sketches, music, web series, and movies. The Beans always have new ideas percolating, so make sure to check us out at patreon.com slash smallbeans. That's p-a-t-r-e-o-n dot com forward slash smallbeans, where you can browse all of our current and past content, see what we've got planned in the future, and learn how your support can help the Small Beans grow into huge, giant monster beans. If you enjoyed this content module, please like, rate, subscribe, or tell a friend about us. We love you!